hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. Ahoy fam, and welcome back aboard the HMS Queen Jocelyn III, setting sail for Nah, We Don't Dance Around Here Island. We pick up with Kay Capri and Not So Special Kay sliding around on the floor. Then Jaw Jackin' when Black Diamond tries to bury a water bottle in Not So Special Kay's head. Kay Capri is over there pleading her case with Jocelyn when Not So Special Kay arms herself with a bottle. Kay Capri tries to cleanse Not So Special Kay with the waters from Lake Minnetonka. But Red Bull gave Not So Special K wings and K Capri a slice under her cheek. With only space and opportunity left between them, Capri cuts the distance and shares her recipe for a knuckle sandwich. Clearly, Lollipop is with the shits adjacent, cause she loved when Not So Special K threw that can. Can dress you up, but can't take you anywhere. Jocelyn decides that they've collected enough footage so Not So Special K gets on the counter and shakes her, uh, back skin? Look at bruh's face right there. You are not getting paid enough for this brand of BS. K Capri tells Not So Special K that it is on site every day and that she is gonna put her, uh, member down her throat until she chokes and dies? Uh, K, I don't think you're a man. No reason for me to. But, uh, comments like this tend to, uh, shall we say, create a level of ambiguity that could lead folks to question things. But we'll go ahead and leave that right there. Jocelyn feels like some of these ladies are not here for the right reasons. They're not here for the cabaret. I really think they're here for the fuck shit. This is episode five. More fights than dancing. You have given up on your choreography. Y'all all here for the fuck shit. Or this season would be an episode and a half. But I digress. While Kate Capri is talking to Jocelyn, Raven pulls a Barry Sanders cutting through the defenses. Then fumbles the ball by ending up on her own silly ass. Raven puts on the best dance performance of the season, while the winner's circle starts feeling some kind of way for not getting their attention. Gaia makes an appearance and calls Kay Capri a young man who needs to learn some manners. Kay Capri is pretty fleet of foot in those crocs, but security got the A-team working this shift and caught her mid-air. Black Diamond complains that her arm is hurt, which is what she deserves for involving herself in somebody else's BS. Jocelyn tells Raven and Black Diamond that they made a mistake following that, uh, tall girl because you know why bother learning these girls names and that they shouldn't have danced first jocelyn tells black diamond to go to the hospital so she can work tomorrow because she doesn't discriminate but ain't gonna be no handicapped dancers in her cabaret and for your viewing pleasure yet another look of not so special k how is not so special k built like a 12 year old boy from the rib cage down and the clavicle up don't make me change your name to group not so special K is brought into one of the offices to pull herself together when Gaia creeps from under one of the desks. Said that her mom used to get beat up, so fighting upsets her. Gaia wants to give Not so special K a gift, a spiritual gift, and wants to lay hands on her. She palms Not so special K's forehead and tries to compel that little gremlin out of her. Not so special K is not in the mood and they start hand checking. Gaia goes in for a standard lift and dump and then spins around and takes a side control position. Gaia then starts screaming, which, honestly, I thought Not So Special K was biting her, but instead Gaia was trying to Constantine the demon out of her by screaming in her face. Gollum is demanding that Gaia come out and run that fade, while Gaia says that if she is assaulted, she will press charges on everyone. Jocelyn gets wind of the fact that there was yet another scrap, and Big Bruh tries to explain what he witnessed. Bruh looked traumatized having to tell Jocelyn that Gaia was trying to cast a demon out of that tiny tyrant. They bring Gaia out and she admits to trying to cast a demon out of her. Not so special K still wants to shoot a fair one and Jocelyn obliges. I know a lot of folks are gonna argue that because not so special K got in a bunch of raps to the head, but I'ma say those tiny punches did zero damage to Gaia. She didn't flinch, but even security knew that the moment that she put that triangle chokehold on her, not so special K was gonna be in trouble. Jocelyn sends her to the hotel and Ballistic said, It's not classy ladies. <laughs> The Brain Trust adds that this is not wrestling, it is cabaret. That bitch wear. Gaia says that everyone fighting should be kicked out. So next on Jocelyn's Cabaret Season 4, Queen's Edition. One of the producers sat down with Special K and learns that she has been through some stuff. And she stays smiling to keep from crying. As things calm down, Jocelyn tries to get everybody together. But Kay Capri says that she is not done because her money maker was ruined by a Red Bull can. Kay Capri eloquently pleads her case. I threw water. She threw a sandling. 
Oh, and hands. She also threw hands, but demands that not-so-special Kay get sent home. Kay Capri warns Jocelyn that if she is allowed back in the house where there are knives and there are forks, forks? She says she's playing with her life. Shit really escalates in their brains pretty fast, doesn't it? We go from slinging and flinging to her life being threatened for fear that not-so-special Kay is a fork ninja? In a moment of clarity, Kay Capri offers some insight into the special group of women. So when you put a group of dysfunctional ass bitches in a room, you get turmoil. Jocelyn sends not so special Kay to the hotel for fear that the other women will smother her in her sleep. Jocelyn is devastated because they might be ruining her dreams and screwing up her cabaret. I have a thought. She says choreography, she struggles with the word apocalypse. Is it possible that she's not actually saying cabaret? Maybe she's trying to say cavalry? Is she trying to call in the cavalry? So for the next episode, Jocelyn tries to break the tension by throwing a pool party. Apparently, Amber wasn't getting enough camera time, so she threatens to crack Black Diamond across the head. And Not So Special K returns looking like a fifth person. Like when the show The Braxtons first came on, and the sisters looked like bizarre reproductions of Tony Braxton. Oh, I'm the only one who thought that? Don't think I don't see you. Again, fam, we have survived another one, but there's another one right around the corner. So make sure you come on back. Best way to do that is to go ahead and subscribe. Likes are always welcome. And since you've made it this far, stick around for the outtakes. And until next time, fam, peace. Clearly, lollipop. Clearly. <laughs> Kitty, 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 kitty.